Hey guys, it's Natalie and today I'm going to be doing a DIY video for you guys. I know you guys love DIY videos, so yeah. So basically I'm just going to be showing you guys like four trendy DIYs for your doll. This is great if you're bored. Before I start off the video, I just want to say I put a bunch of my AG stuff up on Mercari. I'm selling a bunch of stuff. I'll link it down below. Definitely check it out because I'm selling a bunch of stuff. Let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to make are Doc Martens, and these came out so cute. So you're going to need some shoes. Mine are from the craft store, but you can use old HG shoes you have or get new ones for cheap online. You're also going to need paint. So when you're choosing your shoes, make sure they have the same style as Doc's. Mine kind of look like high top converse and that works perfectly fine. So you're going to take the laces out of the shoe and you're going to begin by painting the outside of the shoe. If your shoe is already white, you don't have to do this, but mine was red so I painted it white. I did a couple of coats and I just used regular acrylic paint, but mine actually started to crack a little bit. Um, so if you want to use leather paint, that would work probably much better. Then I painted the bottom black just like real docks have the bottom black. And I painted the holes where the laces go through black as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. They look so cute and it was so, so easy. Again, as I said before, they did crack a little bit, but I still think they look so cute. The shoes were also so cheap from the craft store, so it was really inexpensive. These wrap headbands have been so in right now and so popular, so I decided to make one for my dolls, and it's no sew. All you're going to need is some fabric and scissors. I would use an old shirt or an old pair of leggings to make it easier. I'm using an old shirt and you're going to find the sleeve of the shirt. If you're using leggings, just find one of the legs. And I went to the top of my shirt because I wanted to make sure that the headband would fit my doll's head. And you're just going to cut a strip out of the sleeve. After you cut it out, just take your fabric and stretch it out like I'm doing here so that the edges will um, stretch out and it'll look really clean. So now your piece of fabric should look like this and you're going to twist your fabric into an infinity sign or a figure eight and then you're going to fold the figure eight over like I'm doing here. And then take both your fingers and put them through both loops and pull it and that will give you a wrap headband and that's it. You can put it on your doll and I know it seems kind of confusing on how to fold it but it's actually so easy and I even made a white one that was a little thicker and I love how both of them came out. Next, we're going to make vinyl records for wall decor for your dollhouse. You're going to need thin cardboard, Mod Podge, paint, a hole puncher, which is optional. I didn't end up using it, and scissors. Start by taking your thin cardboard. I'm just using a granola bar box and cut it down. Then take any circular object, I use the cap from a mason jar, and you're going to trace four circles onto the cardboard and then cut all four out. Once you cut them out, just stack them and glue them together with any type of glue. I used Mod Podge, and the reason I cut four out is because then it will give a good thickness for the record. Then just put a heavy object on top so that it could dry and it will all stay together. And after it dries, you can cut the edges a little bit to round them out. And I also took a nail file and just sanded it a little bit to give it a clean edge. Now we need to make a hole in the middle of the record just like... Because normal records usually have like a little hole in the center. And I tried using a hole puncher, but it was too small and it wouldn't fit. So instead, I just took a like exacto knife, 
I made a little like indent in the middle and then put a scissor through it and then I took a marker and just like pushed it in there so that it would make a hole in the middle and that worked pretty well. So the hole looks really good um, on the front but on the back it was really messy um, from like all the cardboard and I just took some Mod Podge and I folded the edges over and I tried to glue them down a little bit so that you couldn't really see them. Once the glue dries, you can paint it and just paint it all black, the front and the back. I did a couple of coats and then I just added a little bit of like Mod Podge. This is optional, you don't have to do it, but I just did it in a circular motion around the center um, because vinyl records usually have like a little like circle going around. I don't really know how to explain it, but like, yeah. Um, this is optional, you don't have to do it at all. I just thought it would look cute and it made it look glossy and then um, you're going to just take some paint and paint a color in the middle around the little hole and that's it I made a blue one and an orange one and these are so cute you can make like little um, album what's it called album jackets for them I just put them up on my doll's wall and it looks like really cute wall decor The last thing we're going to make is some mini lip balm. So you're just going to need some paper, glue, paint, a round object, hot glue, and a principle of whatever lip balm you want to do. First, pick which lip balm you want to do. I did Sun Bum. You can do like Glossier or Burt's Bees or whatever. To find the principle for your lip balm, just search the lip balm name and then put principle at the end or sleeve or jacket and it should come up and then just take a piece of paper and a round object i just used a marker you can use a straw or whatever you want and just roll the paper like i'm doing here and when you roll the paper make sure you're securing it with glue and then you could just pop it off of your marker and it should look like this and this is going to be the base of the lip balm and you could just cut it down to size Measure the principle around the paper and cut any excess off. Now take your paper roll and take some hot glue and fill the top with hot glue to make it shut because you don't want it to look open and do this to both sides and make sure you're really careful because hot glue is like really hot and you're going to burn yourself if you're not careful so be careful. Once the glue dries, you can paint the top and the bottom, and I painted mine yellow because I wanted to recreate the banana lip balm, so I made it yellow. Once it dries, you're just going to take your principal and use a glue stick or whatever glue and just glue it around the middle, and that's it. This is like actually so cute, and it could fit in your doll's hand, and I'm obsessed. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe because we're really close to 40,000 subscribers, which is crazy. So make sure you subscribe and give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, make sure you guys follow my Instagram because I've been posting so much on my Instagram recently. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.